Santos. And today we're going to be focusing on the goodness of the Lord in the midst of trials and tribulations and things that just don't make sense. We're going to dive into the Psalms and even into the New Testament and see what those who went before us truly believe about suffering for the kingdom. And we will find hope because in Jesus we always find hope. For it is our heritage. The road less trap is the road I must take. For the rebels and misfits Fleeing all the world's mistakes Some left behind money Some left fame Families and fortunes Homes and a name They set out on adventure With a whisper of their guide Forsaking all the comforts And not afraid to die They pulled their faith in closer when the waves began to rage, when the stones flew through the air, they did not hide their face. Oh no. They stood there in surrender, putting fear back on his heels. Proof that death had lost its power on all those who had kneeled. The lamb fierce as a lion We turn the world upside down It said simply come and follow And in me you'll be found Come be found Receive 
all of the kingdom. Let it fill you up to overflow. And turn from this world. And in the life you had known. Jesus, may this be our prayer, that we would follow you to the end of our days on this earth, no matter the cost, knowing where our true reward lies. Lord, where we have been deceived by the trap, trappings and entrapments of this world and our enemy, I ask you to uncover and make clear to our eyes. Lord, where deception has reigned in our lives and our hearts, I ask you to expose it and remove it for the sake of our souls. Lord, lead us on your path of truth, of humility, of honesty. We believe that this is the season where you are calling the bride up to be cleansed from her sins. You are exposing darkness and you are dividing the sheep from the goats. We know that this is the season where you are speaking to your church. There's no longer the opportunity to be lukewarm. You're calling us to make a choice to follow you or to walk away and no more pretending that we would be known as true followers of you, Lord Jesus. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, 31 through 39, Paul talks powerfully and boldly about the inability to be removed from the presence of God, from his love, but he also speaks to what we're called to. And I'd like to read this as a charge over each one of you. This is your inheritance. This is what God says about you. This is something we can rest in. So receive it. What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He's not saying no one will be against us. He's saying it doesn't matter if anybody is against us. If God is for us, nothing else matters. Nothing in this earth. Even if the entire court system of your country is against you, it doesn't matter if God is for you. Indeed, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, 
freely give us all things. Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is the one who will condemn? Christ is the one who died. And more than that, he was raised, who is at the right hand of God. And who also is interceding for us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Who? Who could possibly separate you from Jesus' love for you? Will trouble, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? Will any of those things be able to separate you from the love of Jesus? No. None of them. And if you feel like they might be able to, that is your flesh speaking and not the spirit. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. As it is written, for your sake we encounter death all day long. We were considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we have complete victory through him who loved us. Complete victory. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor heavenly rulers, nor things that are present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of Christ Jesus. thing left for us to do, brothers and sisters, is to receive the truth of Paul's words, to embrace them as truth above our circumstances and above our feelings. Do that with me now, and watch your situations and your become smaller and smaller in light of the love of God. He loves you more than you can understand. So let us praise together. this song with a pure heart, with humility, and genuine love, and it is more than enough for him. All my words fall short, I've got nothing new, how could I respond? could sing these songs as I often do but every song must end and you never do so I throw up my hands and praise you again and again all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah, and I know it's not much, I'm nothing else fit for a king, except 
for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. And I've got one response. I've got just one move. My arms stretched wide. I will worship you. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. It's all that I have is I love Not much, I'm nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Come on, my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. It's all that I have in this Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know it's not much. Got nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing Hallelujah, many hearts are growing cold all around us, Lord, we ask you to warm these hearts of ours. Keep them tender towards you and your voice. And thank you for healing. Thank you for healing us. enjoyed our time together today. And I pray that it has ministered to your heart in a powerful way. Turn your heart towards him. Find his embrace. Find his words. Find his healing. Find his touch. Find him. And you will make it. You're here today. when you arrive tomorrow because he's just so good like that. I pray his peace and his grace upon your life right now in the name of the blessed Lord Jesus.